one thing I wanted to talk about was when you get rid of these sucker vines and prune your tomatoes. One person in a comment was Kansas Misfit, and they said that they normally grow about 40 of these plants every year, tomatoes, and they're only growing 12 this year. Well, I've got a very simple solution for you. The same thing I do with basil, and I'm pretty sure you can see the roots in there. Same thing I do with basil. You can take one basil plant and make 10 to 12 plants out of it and keep growing these and then make another 10 to 12 plants out of the next basil transplant you do just by simply rooting them. And it doesn't take long to root these if you take a look. About a week or two, these are uh, these need to be planted right away. I just lost that one. Not perfect. So let's get to it and I'll show you how to take care of the sucker vines how to prune them to actually sprout them because they are nightshade and nightshades will generally when you put the stem in there will root within a week or two and you'll have another tomato plant and therefore you got backup plants okay let's get to it okay so I got my my uh, sucker vines that I clipped and generally you want to pick the biggest ones you can um, and what I'm gonna do with this I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna pull the lower leaves off that I don't want I'm simply going to stick them in a jar of water. And I'll repeat this process. So I don't want those big leaves on there. Another one. Get rid of all these leaves down below. See if we can keep that in the camera. So I just want one big long stem. And these will root within a week or two and you'll have more tomato plants without planting seeds and you'll be weeks ahead. Now well, this one didn't need to be pruned at all. Well maybe this one right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick them in like the water like that and wait a week or two. And you'll have new plants to transplant into some pots or into the ground if you wish. Mm -hmm. 